Is Tyrell Crosby on the trade block? We're going to get at it right now. What is going on, YouTube, and welcome to Detroit Lions Talk with Mike or Mike, where we talk all things Detroit Lions news, rumors, analysis, breakdown, and everything regarding our franchise. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Tyrell trade rumors that has occurred today. We're going to go into detail about the positives, the negatives of a trade. What could the compensation look like? What would it mean for the Lions this year going forward and everything about this possible trade rumor? Before we get in this video, if you're not a subscriber, smash that subscribe button. Also, hit that like button. Also, make sure you go check out Avery Giovanni, Spirit of Detroit, because he is the individual. I first seen this news, so go to his channel, subscribe to it, because he's talking about it as well. Rumors came out today that the Detroit Lions are exploring trade options for Detroit Lions right tackle Tyrell Crosby. Tyrell Crosby is in his fourth year for the Detroit Lions. We drafted him in the fifth round. He was predominantly used as a right tackle. However, with the Detroit Lions selecting Panay Sewell, who will be manning down the right side this year, it made him into a backup role. However, he's been a backup for the Detroit Lions, and he's a good, valuable piece for Detroit over the past four years. A little bit about himself. He's 6'4". He's only 25 years old, 315 pounds. Why is Tyrell Crosby a valuable asset? Because you can always rely on him to pick up one of the sides if there's an injury. If there's an injury to Taylor Decker, he goes the left side. If there's an injury to Halapaluti Vati Vaitai, he would do the right side. Matter of fact, he was doing better on the right side than Vati Vaitai was. So he's been a nice, valuable asset for the Detroit Lions. But let's talk about positives and negatives for a trade for him. We're going to start with the negatives first. Hit that like button, folks. The more likes we get, the more chance that this video gets out. Yes, let's get to 250 likes in this video. Going against the legacy media, we all know it's Detroit versus everybody here. All these other teams are talked about except for our Lions. So let's get our information out via YouTube. The Lions would be losing out on a cheap player. He's still on his rookie deal. And considering what he brings to the Lions as a swing tackle and an asset that can play starter if need be, those are hard to find. He can play on the right side. He can play on the left side. And for a player who costs extremely cheap, that is difficult to find a replacement for for that type of position. He's a massive, valuable asset like we just talked about. He can play on the right, he can play on the left side. Players that are a Swiss Army knife like that, that can do multiple positions, are hard to find. And as we know for the Detroit Lions, when we have injuries, and it happens quite a bit, having somebody that can fill in and you can trust, that is extremely difficult to find. So the ceiling is high for an injury. Again, protection from injury. He can play both left and right. And that is something that is quite valuable for the Lions. And losing something like that could hurt us. If we trade him now, we're going to lose on a conditional draft pick if they decide not to re-sign him in 2022. I'm going to assume he would get a decent contract on the open market. And if that occurs, you're losing out on a conditional draft pick. So you could have him for the Detroit Lions this year making sure he mans down one of the sides. If there is an injury, let him walk after the season is over. He signs with another team. You can get a conditional draft pick. And with the draft picks that we have in this upcoming season, you can turn around and draft a backup tackle to do what he did. So if we trade him now, we get a draft pick for this upcoming draft. But if we let him sit and let him walk for 2023, we lose on a conditional draft pick. Positives if we decided to trade him. You get draft capital for 2022. If you trade him now, you're going to get something that's going to help us out in this upcoming season. And as we know, draft picks are extremely vital towards building a franchise. And as much draft picks as we can get, the better chance that we can fill out a starting roster for the upcoming years. What if they don't want to get a draft pick? They can go ahead and get a possible player in return. It's important to get 
many holes filled for this upcoming season. We need help at linebacker. We need help at safety. There's other depth issues that we have issues with. So if they wanted to trade him for a player, they can use something that's a backup and turn around and get possibly a starter for the Lions defense or a backup somewhere on this team that is depth, not as quality as the offensive line. He is on the last year of his contract. So trading a player in the last year of a contract, clearly the Lions are not going to sign him to a long-term deal. So get an asset that will help immediately could be a valuable option for the Detroit Lions. Get a player or get a draft pick, and that helps the team out quicker than getting a conditional for the next year. With trading him, you can fill other holes, just like we talked about a possible player. There's holes all over this team, specifically linebacker, specifically defense. So if you turn around and trade him, you can fill out some of those holes, help out the 2021 NFL season, a player who can be impact now for success. Or, again, get a draft pick for 2022, and that fills out holes as well. Subscribe to the channel. Almost to 14,000 subscribers. Let's get to 14K. If you're watching the content anyways, you might as well subscribe because I'm dropping news and rumors regarding our franchise all the time, so you don't want to miss out. Hit that subscribe button. What would the value look like if the Detroit Lions decided to trade him? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean they would have to trade him before the season starts. And so that can actually change the value of a draft pick. Personally, if we probably traded him now, I'm going to assume it'd be around a fifth round draft pick for the Detroit Lions if they want to trade him. Fifth round is a fairly good compensation. That's where we got him in the NFL draft. Turn around, get a fifth round draft pick for him. And basically getting the same pick you got back but you utilize the services for four years. You could get a low-end starter right now, possibly for him, someone that would potentially be a cutted player from another team, but would actually help out the Lions immediately, such as a safety or a linebacker, or maybe they wanted to get a guard instead of a tackle, a position that the Lions could utilize right now and help them going down the road for 2021. But if they hold out until the NFL trade deadline, there's a good chance you can get something a little bit more. What if a team turns around and have an injury to the right tackle or left tackle? They're in immediate help to get a starter, and that would boost the value of Tyrell Crosby, potentially getting a fourth-round draft pick if you hold out a little bit. If a team really needs help, if you look at what happened to the Kansas City Chiefs, losing a tackle is vital. And a team that is an emergent help that must need a starter immediately that will do whatever it takes to get a player to protect their quarterback would potentially give up a higher draft pick. So in my opinion, potentially go to a fourth-round draft pick. And who knows, if it was a very good team, a team that's going to make the playoffs, maybe a late third. It just all depends on a team's desire to protect a quarterback if there was an immediate injury to that player. All in all, this is a very risky move in my opinion. I value Tyrell Crosby as a swing tackle. It's important to have these type of players on your football team because as we know, there is injuries on all parts of NFL teams. The last thing we need is to have an injury to the offensive line. We don't know what we don't know. And now with an additional game for the upcoming season with a total of 17 games played, injuries are going to happen. If you look at Panay Sula already, here you got the corona. And you just don't know what's going to happen through the season. Maybe Taylor Decker gets it and you're going to need an individual to fill in for him. Maybe there's an injury to Decker, need him to fill in for him. Maybe there's an injury to Panay Sewell. You need someone to fill in for them. And I value those type of players that can jump in and you're not as much worried about that positional due to the quality depth player that you have there. And I think Tyrell Crosby brings a lot of calming to an injury if we had on left or right tackle. With that said, I do think we need help at the safety and linebacker position. So if you can trade him and get a starter for a backup, I would be all in for that. I think that would be important to beef up the middle of the field and beef up the back of the defense. 
again, it is a risk move. It is a higher risk considering what happens. When it comes to a draft pick, uh, I would be extremely weary upon this. If they wanted to go draft pick, my suggestion would be wait till near the NFL trade deadline. At that point, if you want to get a draft pick, we already know how the seasons kind of go. Is the season starting on a bad note and the Lions are not winning a lot of games, so we might as well get some assets for players who know, who are not going to be on that team? I can look at it that way because then you're still getting your draft pick, but you had him on your team for some of the season and dispelling some issues for the upcoming games beginning of the season because if the season starts out good, just keep them just in case something happens. But if the season is a lost cause, hey, go around, trade them, and get the much as you can for a player who you're not going to have in 2022. In the upcoming videos, we've got the One Pride podcast on my channel every Thursday at 6.30. It is a fun show. It is an interactive show where you've got questions and I, we have answers, not just me, because the panel is on there. And it's all about getting questions answered about the Lions interaction it's about having fun doing a little bit of comedy but also getting into it nitty gritty details and analysis of things that we want to know about and guess what folks what's so good about this is we have many individuals who have different perspectives and then you get different looks at many different outcomes to questions also got many videos dropping nearly every single day so make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest news and rumors regarding our detroit lions